Hey guys, Crafty here from Living in Beta and today we are rewinding ourselves back two or three months and returning to the first farming spot ever showcased on our channel. Now, why are we doing this? I hear you ask. Well, there's a couple of reasons really. First one, although we showcased it in our patch 1.3 Why Exploits Still Work video, uh, it was only a whistle stop tour and didn't cover all the bases, so some questions have been asked multiple times. And then, yeah, the second point really, we've been getting a lot of questions on the original video as well around is this still working in patch 1.3? It's a bit inconsistent. Why is this happening? Why is that happening? So we thought it'd be best to do a refresher and give you an overview of what's popping over here in Santo Domingo. Of course, if you found other farming spots in patch 1.3, 1, I guess we have to say right now, um, then let's chat in the comments. Let us know if you're using this farming spot, of course. Let's just have a good old chat. But without further ado, get your pitchforks ready, put on your dungarees. It's time to go farming. P.S. Sorry if I uh, offended any farmers out there. You know the bounce we need to bring on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Okay, so let's begin farming then, I suppose. So the first thing to talk about is obviously the location. For those who haven't been here before, we are in the Santo Domingo area of Night City. Uh, slap bang in the middle with the closest fast travel point being Metro Mega Building H7. And we're looking to go to this kind of yard here on this, uh, around the side of this building and there'll be enemies spawning there. There's usually a fast travel point down here as well. I'm just on one of my newer characters, so uh, he hasn't unlocked that fast travel point yet. Okay, now for the interest of this as well, just to showcase for those haters out there that want to buy the tissues, it's on very hard. Um, just to show you what the XP will be. In terms of street cred, you're going to get standard 220 to 250 street cred per kill. Um, just bear in mind that street cred pops up once you leave combat. Now, the whole premise of this is fairly simple. It's to come to this kind of junkyard area here and there'll be enemies that, that spawn here that you can take out. Now, before we, I recorded this video, um, where you've probably seen the intro, I took out all the enemies in the location just to show you what happens once you wait 24 hours. Now, there was a lot more enemies usually in this area, but one of the problems we're having in patch 1.3 one is the inconsistent inconsistency of spawn rate which is one of the main questions people are asking me right now is crafty in the video you have a lot more enemies around and yes back in the earlier patches we did have a lot more enemies they spawned um consistently consistently in the same spots um every single time you waited 24 hours with the new patch there seems to be a delay um, on multiple things some people have told me that they ran further away and waited 24 hours and everything spawned back I've just done my usual method, which I'll show you in a second, and they spawn in different areas. So, at the end of the day, it's one of those. It's going to be one of those spots that does work very strongly, but you're going to need to kind of bear in mind that there's no consistent farming, like there would be in the Pacifica farming spot, for example. So the premise is, you'd run in. There's usually an enemy here. Obviously, isn't because I already took him out in previous. There's usually an enemy on that car, and then you've got the three people on this table that you'll take out. Um, best as possible obviously you can get the camera if you want and then there's usually uh, enemies dancing here which are obviously already taken out there's always a couple of enemies here doing shooting practice uh, and there's sometimes enemies here as you can see here is one here and there's usually one fixing the van as well um, then you have one just come out of this car here getting tricksy with me and then you have these two here who like to get up in melee and have a laugh um, and then from there you also have enemies around here, usually. Oh, look, the classic floating car. Uh, enemies around here in, that come out of that vehicle. Uh, and sometimes you have enemies here as well. Um, and then moving around here, you always have the sofa legends. Um, there's one at the moment. There's usually a couple. Um, and that's kind of it. Sometimes there's enemies stood here. And sometimes there's enemies in the distance here. Um, as I did in my old video, sometimes I like to shoot out in the distance and spawn. But one of the things I've noticed is there is actually a uh, NCPD, um, you know, 
assault in progress here so that's usually what people notice when they attend this area so that essentially is the route overall and you're going to pop around obviously take out all the enemies loot their bodies you'll get a mixture of different loot of course um, different rarity levels sometimes euro dollars you're getting 220 street cred every time and then depending on the difficulty you're on like normal difficulty which is what mo most players are on gives you about 14 experience i think you get about 20 experience on very hard I i'll have a look again once we kill some more but yeah you basically essentially loot the whole area get everything back and you'll see the the um people start walking back in that got scared uh, that were here previously um the kind of civilians for want of a better wording for them so yeah then what you'll do come out the back here and in the old video i stopped at this road here waited 24 hours and worked my way around again and we're going to do that now just to show the inconsistency on spawn rate which is the problem but your skip time 24 hours pretty solid um and then you can go around the back again but i like to do the kind of circuit um which showcases uh i don't know it's just a good routine to have now just to for the sake of this video though we're going to jump up here and just look at where the people have spawned in reference to why we just killed them because um again the inconsistency is one of the things people are having so you'll see the table people are back you've now got the woman over there who wasn't there previously um you've now got the gentleman by the car over there um you don't have the guys that are shooting anymore you do have some guys dancing and then you've got a person there again no person there. The sofa person's back. And obviously we can't see the car around there, but we'll go check that out. So you can see uh, different spawn rates depending on the time. And I think for some people that's frustrating, for sure, just because you like that consistency. And the Pacifica farming route does give you that as well. But this is still a super quick route, um, which really does, does help things out. Um, in terms of just getting it done. Pacifica is probably slightly uh, slower maybe in terms of the distance you have to run. And, and I think one thing that's very underrated as well, that was 145 experience for three people then. So I think you're looking at what? Yeah, about 30 to 40 experience per kill, very hard. Um, and the other thing we don't really talk about, you can see it happening a lot, are the guys do spawn here as well as I, set, as I, as I showcased at the start. Um, one thing that, you, you know, that doesn't really get thought about is, you know, the, the XP bars that you have once using um, your abilities, right? Uh, obviously, I'm using uh, a, a blunt weapon right now, so I'm leveling up Street Brawler. And this is this place right here is a very good place for that. Um, the same with guns, the same with even athletics slightly. Um, if you want to level up quick hacks, there's obviously quicker ways for quick hacks, but it's still, this is a place with enemies that can provide you with everything you need to you know farm that kind of thing you see i'm getting 169 xp towards street brawler <clears throat> almost every kill which is which is crazy so that's why we call it a farm spot um and it really does work so now we've cleared out that let me just show you one more time just to see who what the spawns like again but again it's up to you as well in terms of speed of how far you want to go away maybe you could test running up that way and let me know in the comments or <clears throat> maybe you can test going a different way but right now we're going to stick here and work our way around again and this time we won't go on top of the building we'll look around uh... <clears throat> my voice apologies we'll look around here follow it round follow it round um so yeah i think this is very very good for multiple reasons and there's no harm in using it the other thing to really bear in mind as well is the level you do it at right i'm level 39 and you, you saw my character's build it's fairly strong especially in the weapons that i'm using right now um with the focus now going to be on cool and intelligence going forward but if you're at you can in theory come here from level 13 you can come in as soon as you finish act one and, and, and night city opens up but you need to bear in mind that your difficulty is going to be the thing you need to gauge i i usually come here uh after that and and start on normal kill a few enemies work my way up maybe start on hard but well, kill some enemies and then go up to very hard so but that's up to you if you want to it's all about the pacing right if you want it to be faster 
than you do it on normal, but then it's less XP. <clears throat> so now what you can see is she spawned, these people have spawned, the geese have spawned over here, which is good. Uh, civilians are running. She thought she saw something. She's now got an invisible chair. She's found her. Take that out. Um, and then you've got the person over here. Just chilling. You've got this person here. Just chilling. The casual people here sitting playing chess or cards thinking on the, other on the gambit. See, once again, we have no spawn here. Um, we have no spawn under there. We do have a dead body by the looks of it. Um, floating car still there, which is always nice. Take out these geezers here, popping a selfie. Sometimes there's only two of these. There seems to be three this time. And sofa crew have not turned up. So that's what that's kind of showcases the cons inconsistency of it. But it's a very good farm route. Um, very simple to use, even on very hard. Lots of loot will drop. Euro dollars to be made from the loot. Um, quite an easy route in terms of just the speed of just doing a ring around. Um, you know, close fast travel point as well. Close a drop point to sell stuff. It's lots of bonuses to this area. And, and uh, yeah, still works. This is right now in patch 1.31. Still works comfortably. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and uh, go ahead and check it out. And let me know your experiences in the comments of how it's done or you know, anything you've noticed or any inconsistencies you've noticed as well or ways to change the inconsistencies because, you know, that's the important thing. But for now, I'm not going to harp on any more. I want to thank you for watching the video and revisiting this farming spot for with us. I also want to thank you for turning up on our social media. The followers are rising, which is fantastic. We've got lots of pictures being posted, lots of tweets. So come and follow us over there if you want some opinions. Um, that'll be on the screen right now. And yeah, the channel is growing. We love having you around. Stick with us. But for now, if you like the video, drop a like on the video. Subscribe for more content like this one. Share with your friends. And remember, don't be a gonk.